It's Friday, August 27th, at about quarter to three in the afternoon, 24 degrees centigrade. I decided to come up to see a new section of the Trans-Canada Trail today. I parked in Mountain Grove and I'm heading west on the trail. Well, not off to a great start. I just had four ATVs go by me well spread out so I had to get off the trail for about uh, three minutes to let them get by. <laughs> what a change in the weather today from what we had yesterday. Yesterday at this time we had 35, 36 degrees centigrade with a humidex of 42. Today it's 24 degrees with maybe a humidex of 27 or 26 totally different feeling I'm not all sweaty I was actually feeling faint yesterday just from walking around our field it was so oppressive Well, we're just at the four kilometer mark and we're crossing Clark Road. It's been a nice walk, other than the fact there have been quite a few ATVs and they come in groups of four and five, which is a little bit uh, frustrating just because they can take a couple minutes to get by you. So you're standing on the side of the trail waiting for the long train to get by. Some go nice and slow and others fly by you too fast otherwise it's been a nice hike pretty transition through marshes and forests rocky ridges and that kind of stuff
Well, it's almost four o'clock and we're just coming up on five kilometers in about 300 meters or so, or 200 meters. So I think I probably will uh, turn around then. It's uh, gonna be an hour and a half back roughly. So it'll be nice to uh, get home in relatively decent time for Friday evening. I'm in the curiosity mode again, where I want to see what's around every next corner. Uh, that's the problem with going on these long trail hikes. There's always a corner up ahead that you can't see around, and it looks inviting. Oh well, that's why. I'm almost at 5k, so I will just go up to this next corner to look around see what's there. I just looked at my phone on the Maps app there, Google Maps, and uh, using the satellite imagery I realized I'm probably within a kilometer of Big Clear Lake at Arden, and this loop goes right beside it, so I guess I'll keep going. Well, you know what they say, curiosity killed the cat. And here I am out on a wilderness trail as the sun thinks about going down and as the bears and wolves come out for their evening meal the dogs and I'll be out here fresh prey oh I'm not too worried about that I'd be other, worried about other things uh, more than bears and wolves not that I'm worried about any of them but uh, more about do I really want to do another kilometer or two or whatever it takes to get me to this thing but I guess I might as well since I've come this far I'll step up my pace a bit you can see where this part of the trail <clears throat> gets flooded in the spring obviously Well, the temperature has gone down fairly well today, but that sun still has some beating heat to it. I guess thanks to the lack of ozone layer now. Just cutting through this big swamp alongside the trail here that is found along the southeast shore of Big Clear Lake. And we're cruising along pretty good. We're almost there. We're almost to the lake, so might as well keep going. Keep pushing forth, young man. And this nice little trench through the wetland for the dogs to swim in, or get wet in at least. Zoe says, I'll go exploring. You don't want to go too far up in there, Zoe. You'll never find your way out. Come on, Zoe. Come on. Don't want to lose you. And here we are at about six kilometers in, Big Clear Lake. And just from the southwest corner of Big Clear Lake, looking out to the northeast. Nice bed of pickerel weed here in front of me and cattails. 
scattered cottages along the lake shore. Very pretty lake. I've never been on it. But it's fairly big. Leave her off for a second and she's up the road chucking things out on me. Come here, Zoe. So 6.2 kilometers in to get to the big clear lake here. And now we're going to head back. Well, it's 4.53 right now, and we're about a third of the way back on our hike. So it's 6.2 kilometers out. So we're probably in around 8 kilometers or so now. Sun's starting to head down towards the horizon, and uh, the shadows are getting longer. make for supper tonight uh, let's see hmm maybe I'll have some Mexican eggs that's where you get a frying pan and throw a bit of olive oil in it chop up a bunch of onions throw them in the olive oil thinly slice a few potatoes mash them up a bit and fry them in with the onions then you add a few eggs mash it all whip it all together and then fry it in a big pan so you get at the end a nice thick almost like a frittata i guess you'd call it an egg potato frittata add some spices turmeric garlic whatever to your satisfaction piece of resistance it's a piece de resistance as the sun goes down below the tree line over here, we're now getting into more shaded areas. So that's nice because on the way in it was, the sun was quite intense on the skin. Well, about three quarters of the way back now. So, won't be too long. And we'll be back at the car at Mountain Grove. It's been a really nice walk after the first flurry of ATVs. I haven't really seen any since, so that's been nice. And I wouldn't mind, except they get, when they get in bunches, then it gets a bit hard to keep getting over for two or three minutes to let them all get by because they're usually spread out a few hundred feet between each one. Such are the trials and tribulations of the trail walker. I can smell somebody's supper cooking. Mmm, barbecue I think. wonder if I can invite myself in. Zoe's got something again. Come on Zoe. 
Come on, Zoe. Come on, Zoe. You can do it. It's probably just a woodcock or a groat. Come on. <laughs> she gets like a magnet on their trail. Don't you, Zoe? Come on. Let's go. We got to go, hon. We got to go. I know. There's probably something in there, but... Hmm. Maybe I will be dropping in for supper here. It's been a great hike. Really enjoyed it. Nice to see different sections of these trails. Unfortunately, walking is a little bit slow, but I like the detail of walking for sure, and uh, that's the only way I can get it with the dogs. So, hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't, and tell other people to subscribe because they're really missing out on life. Let's go take a look at this Olden Pioneer Park. Come on guys, come on, Joe. Go up. Dogs must be wondering where the heck we're going now. End of the hike. Oh, Luna, you almost tripped me, you little runt. This is a nice little tribute to the pioneers of this township, I guess. Plow here. And a rock cairn.